Hello, this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Vineyard. Today I'm going to be headed over to the garden in my pickup truck and I'm going to be making some gazpacho. This is the perfect time of year where everything that I need is in the garden and it's so much fun just to uh, pick it, throw it into my blender and make this um, you know, it's just, to me, the it epitomizes summer freshness and summer vegetables. So, uh, come with me and we'll head to the garden. We're going to Bonnie's Vineyard going by the insectaries that encourage the beneficial insects. Cabernet is hanging on the vines, waiting to be picked. Just arrived at the garden. I'm gonna be getting out of my truck and talking with this male. Down the center path are all edible flowers, which are just so lovely in a, uh, in a salad. I'm looking today for tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, peppers. Those are the main ingredients that uh, I'm going to be picking up to, to uh, make the gazpacho today. Ah, here are the shishito peppers, carrots, and then um, I'll look at these gorgeous tomatoes. These, some of these are tomatoes are going to go into the gazpacho that I'm making today. And you, um, are you going to put some of these flowers in the salad? Yeah, some flowers, beets, and we have those uh, new radishes, they call red meat, and kale, um, carrots, super sweet, sun gold, chiroki. Wow. And uh, one of those lettuces, the bib. Yeah. I really like it, they're really nice. Yep. Yeah, really simple, some shishitos to get a little bit spicy. <laughs> a little bit of spice. Yeah, and mint, you know, do, really simple. But do you have to, do you feel like you have to cook the beets before you put them in the salad or you can eat them uh, raw? I, re I really like like just raw. Oh, okay. With a little bit of salt. Nice. Yeah, but I like to put it in the oven like how she let do it. Yes. Yeah, but uh, I love it. I don't know, but I like just really simple. Uh -huh. And they're delicious. I like, you know, I like simple, and that's one of the reasons I'm going to make this um, gazpacho today. And everything I need is in the garden, and I put it in my blender, and I just turn it on, and there you have it. <laughs> it's so, it's so easy. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, so easy. All right, thank you, Ismail. And uh, cut them up a little bit, throw them in the blender, and then uh, lunch. So, thank you, Ismail. These are so gorgeous. Driving back to the house, going through the vines, the insectary. Here I am back in my kitchen and I've got this box and and uh, so I've got the cucumber, peppers, more onions than I need, a clove of garlic that um, that was harvested earlier and four tomatoes all different varieties and colors. Aren't they beautiful? There are a couple more things that I need for my gazpacho. One is a lemon and I see it up there on my lemon tree. Come up with me as I climb around next to the oak tree and I'm going to pick this lemon. Ah, perfect. And then the last thing I need is a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. So I have all my ingredients. I'm ready to put the 
gazpacho together. I'm going to put the real hard vegetables in there first. So I'm starting with the um, a clove of garlic. And actually, it's just a really large clove, so I'm going to use maybe half of it. I'm going to put in about maybe a quarter to a third of this onion. I'm using a little magic bullet because I don't want to make a huge amount of gazpacho. But I have a, a larger blender. You can, you know, you can choose whatever blender, however much you want to make, um, depending on the size of your family, how many people are going to be eating it. This, this cucumber is a, uh, called a striped Armenian. And I love these. They, this is this really exotic looking uh, one. They also come in a pale green. And um, what I love about them is they don't have a lot of seeds. I don't need to deal with the seeds and I don't need to peel it. And so I can just chop it up like this and uh, throw it in here. Put those in. Take the core out of a couple of these tomatoes. I think there might be, I don't know if there's too many tomatoes. Let's see how many we need. As you can see, I'm not using a recipe. I just know what the core ingredients are. And I use taste to tell me what I need to do next, how much I need to add of something. This is, I think, a, this is a darker red, I think they call it a wine, <laughs> a wine tomato. I've got a lemon here from my tree. Get some lemon juice out. juice in there. And the last is to uh, pour in a little bit of wine. And the wine, again, is it adds acid, but also, you know, a, a flavor. Wine is wonderful to cook with. It, uh, it just adds so much. And we don't use a whole lot, so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, an alcohol content. It's just, it's just so flavorful. Oh, yes, and I have my peppers. These are shishito peppers, and they will, um, you know, they're, they're also very mild in flavor. And we'll give this a little pizzazz. Sometimes I just use uh, Tabasco sauce. In, uh, uh, to give a little spiciness to this. Put a little wine in here. Kind of shake it up. Make sure that They're gonna have, it's gonna take, take a little bit. So I just pushed it down a little bit with a wooden spoon. And then at, I saw that I had more rooms to add another tomato. There's one last bit that someone told me about recently, um, and I tried it in my last recipe. Um, if you add a little bit of uh, older bread to it, um, it resembles, you know, the, the Italians, they make a, they make a kind
kind of a bread and tomato soup. It reminded me a little bit of that. I'm gonna add a little bit of that bread. And now I'm gonna taste it. And the taste is, will let me know, do I need to add anything else? I, I tasted the gazpacho. I decided I needed a little bit more lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil uh, to finish it off. I'll blend it. Oh, and a little bit of salt. A little bit of sea salt I put in. Mmm, it tastes like summer. So, this is what you want is the taste, the taste of summer in your, in your glass. And um, sometimes when I've just made it, it's, it's room temperature or garden temperature. And I'll add a little bit of ice to cool it off. You can add the ice and whir it up or just put it in the glass. So, asante to your health. This is gazpacho from the garden from Bonnie's Vineyard. You, you may not have all these vegetables in your garden, but you know you can find them at the grocery store, and you too can have a taste of summer. Doesn't, you know, doesn't have to be a particular kind of tomato, doesn't have to be heirloom, doesn't have to be that beautiful striped um, cucumber. It can be whatever you have on hand, and whatever sounds good to you. So have fun, make, make your own uh, gazpacho at home, do it your own way, and enjoy the taste of summer.